what's going on guys welcome back to Farley's house this is LCG here all right and uh, last episode we wrapped up by reading a lot okay we read all these um, my head hurt after reading all that but today we're gonna dive in uh, we're going to kick off episode 7 by seeing what happens when we click this projector on And it looks like nothing major. There's got to be something, though. Uh, let's see. There's got to be a reason that that turns on. Aha, so... Whoop. What happens when we do this? Um, those lines disappear, kind of. That part of the puzzle? I feel like it belongs on this screen here. And this is kind of a wonky system. It's uh, not exactly responding to my cursor very well. Oh, wait a minute. We put that back up. Wait a minute. That's strange. Oh no, that circle is part of the projection. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We will take a picture of that. We will roll this down. All the way. Take a picture. We will shift this back to its original position. It would make more sense that it's on here. Wait a minute. Okay. Who is circling? Aha! All right, I feel like this right here in the rail yard. We need to go back to the rail yard and Whatever that is. I don't know. Okay. Got it. I feel better now. I feel like I figured it out. Even if I didn't. Now let's hit the play button here. Maybe we need to rewind it first. This could cause some confusion for the younger folk. Uh... This is what is known as a cassette player, and you need to re rewind the cassettes when you're done playing them in order to start over. Well, I, I feel like I should, I should say something. We, we haven't heard from Shavar, so... Um, should we assume that, um, Sh uh, Shavar, well, that the, the attack is inevitable. It's, we, we just don't know when. So, um, Shavar and her family, um, and others she trusts, I guess, well, they'll, they'll arrive like they can, um, when they can, without, um, giving, you know, like, uh, covertly. So the plan will happen, in spite of our, um, oh my god, we're uh, locking down a 
as much as possible here and moving everybody out. Uh, CW will stay here. And uh, I'll go to Murray at the last possible moment. Um, most are gone. There's just a few uh, left here now. The mayor got out early. <laughs> um, I don't even know why I'm recording this. It's, uh, it's like somehow we'll live on or something. Um, I guess this has meaning if someone listens, but <laughs> who? A new one? <laughs> A new arriver. Oh, God, the kiosk out front. Uh, I need to update that message. All right. Uh, is there a back side to this cassette? There is. We will get a lot of storyline today, boys. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you, Sam, and Vera. You tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 60 This is very years familiar. Since you saw that blast of light. And that's where all of our news stories began that light. It streaked across the sky, mesmerizing, but unnerving. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her, rejoiced as if it was some forebearer of good fortune. Vera, you said you were all smiling. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said, it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. And we all felt some kind of trepidation and yet attraction as we approached it and it approached us. So close. That was where the first episode cut. Something calming about it. 
Holy cow. That was that was a whole lot of data for just one one part of the story. Now we need to figure out right here it says the heart and we'll, I will come back and address that, but we've only got about five minutes left in this episode. Uh so I wanna try to figure out what we're gonna be doing next. Uh one seed pair, two Find planets with similar atmosphere, which is how they found Earth. Three, there's a swap um, that pulls out a sphere, it sounds like. Four, tree from seed. Uh, Soria, the Mofang, heart, I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, we now know that we're going to head to the rail yard. We're going to go back to the rail yard, and we're going to find the uh, the northernmost part. Uh, that right there. I don't know why, but that's circled. And then 1-5. Can't forget that, okay? Um, how much time we got now? We got about three minutes. Uh, well, we might run this episode a little bit long, because we are right here all right so as far as I can tell this is the rail yard that's the tower um, I I wish I had paid closer attention to it oh wait a minute does this door open up now because it's powered no it does not okay is there anything that we can do so we can spin this sphere? Is there any position that would provide us with leverage? Like a better way to walk. Whoop. It doesn't look like it. Is there anything below? I guess I should probably just get down and go down there rather than trying to look all around. Huh? Um. This is kind of challenging. I feel like I should. That circle just seemed so conclusive. Uh, I guess that's what I'm struggling with right now. Is this is the rail yard. We need to go directly across from that area. And part of the wall was circled. Now we can't get the cart up here. Let's see if we got a good photo of it. That's a pretty poor quality photo. Um. Yeah, because this is a sphere. Hmm. Can we zoom in on that? Nope, nope. Nothing. Okay.
What is it that we are missing? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ding, 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 ding. That poster had one five. Aha. And it had some weird uh, lines on it. All right. That is where we're going to cut this episode short, everybody. I want to thank you all very much for tuning in. In the next episode, we will give that a go. Uh, either I believe this has to show 1-5. Uh, but I think more importantly, we're going to punch in 1-5 here. And that's going to give us some pattern. Uh, I, I don't really know. I don't know. But we're going to figure it out, alright? I want to thank you all once again for tuning in to... Uh, abduction and i look forward to knocking this out of the park with you guys next episode all right thank you all very much this is lcg and i'm heading out